Hi folks, it's John from LastChanceAutoRestore.com. I'd like to share with you a vehicle that we have just completed and uh, we're just getting ready to deliver it back to our client. Uh, you recall a while ago um, we talked about this pretty rare car. It's a 1967 Corvette Roadster. It's a 427 big block car, uh, four speed manual, true numbers matching in, in every way. Uh, transmission, rear diff, engine block, uh, the carburetors, everything is all true numbers matching. Um, this was bought at a, uh, a high-end car auction. It was on display and they had uh, kind of a bar holding the door open uh, as a showpiece and then when our, uh, our client arranged delivery um, the door wasn't able to shut, the car didn't run, uh, there was a fuel leak, the tack didn't work and there was numerous issues. Um, there were some panel adjustment problems, the door was overlapping the quarter panel, uh, the passenger side door wasn't fitting, so there was quite a long list of items that weren't up to the caliber of the car. Um, so we're quite proud and happy the way it turned out. We had to do some repair to the front nose on the fiberglass. The Stinger hood required quite a bit of repair because as our, our viewers know, whenever you uh, the Stinger hood is the original hood that comes with all the 427 big blocks. So when you order a 427, this is the real Stinger hood that you get. Uh, this is a very unique color. It's a silver pearl uh, with the black interior and that is all numbers matching also. So this is the way um, it properly left the factory. We just had uh, uh, the car appraised yesterday. So we're just waiting for the value uh, to come back to make sure that uh, our client has it protected properly in terms of value. Um, so basically we're just going to walk around the car just to share with you um, the alignment and how everything is lined up now. Uh, the chrome is absolutely perfect and flawless in every way and that was done previously. We didn't do anything with that. But you can see now the alignment on the front nose. When you're looking at the front, your, uh, your headlight pots, um, the gap between the headlights and the front nose on both uh, driver passenger sides are correct and then when you come into the hood you can see the fit and finish of the hood and the surround of the hood the gap or the width of the uh, painted on line um, is exactly the way it should be and there's uh, we've got so much base and clear clear coat finish on the base coat that when you rub your hand uh, you certainly don't feel any tape lines or any striping uh, because of the clear coat. Uh, this silver pearl is an extremely difficult color to paint and to lay. It's also very, very difficult to match and it is flawless. It's, the body is really, really straight now. It had some issues um, on both fenders and doors and the whole front nose and it's basically undetected now that anything's ever been done to the car. You can see the front wheels, those rally wheels those are correct factory uh, rally steel rim with the chrome trim ring um, and the authentic Chevrolet center cap. You can see that we even have the correct nylon Firestone uh, Super Sport tires, a reproduction red line. And this car came with the optional red line tires. You'll see the period correct and factory correct side exhaust, which was also ordered for this car when it was new. Uh, so it looks quite attractive and it's all nice and clean. You can see the alignment on the doors now. Um, this driver's door didn't open and close under its own power. Um, and now everything um, is adjusted properly and nice and clean. When you open the door and you look on the inside, you can see how clean. Hopefully there's not too much glare in my shadow here with my big fat head. Um, you can see the, the dash needed quite a bit of work also. So these are new. Um, so both of these pads, they were cracked and split and some body filler and stuff was used uh, to try and repair. And uh, so basically that's all been cleaned and done properly. It has the upgraded from the factory, the AM FM radio as opposed to just the plain AM. Uh, we redid the console and the proper paint finish uh, with the black and you can see obviously the four speed with the power windows. Um, and everything looks as it should inside and then we've got the nice uh, the upgraded headrest this is an option to have the uh, the optional headrest in the seats and these are also true leather um, which was another upgrade or option along with the wooden steering wheel 
Um, so those are nice options. And you can see our back panel. Uh, this car came with both the hard top, which is at our client's house, and the soft top. Um, and it's like new condition, and it's obviously tucked away uh, underneath. You can see all the chrome and trim on the outside is quite nice. And then as we come along the back of the car, uh, very distinctive styling. The beautiful tail lights, you can see how nice the chrome is on the bumpers. Uh, and then our fuel filler and our Corvette Stingray, the authentic logos. And you can see how nice this paint is. There might be a lot of glare, but uh, this silver pearl is an incredible color. Um, very, very tricky uh, color to paint. And you can see how nice and level it is and how nice everything matches as it should. And then as we come along the passenger rear quarter panel, once again you can see the alignment. Uh, very difficult before for this passenger door to open and shut. You can see now we have the correct gaps and then it open and closes very nicely. Uh, there is some repair work done to the inside. Uh, that's undetected now. Obviously, it looks just like new. Um, so that uh, that turned out quite nice, and it opens and shuts as it should. And then, obviously, the side pipe coming down, as you saw on the driver's side, we have all the period correct glass and date codes. Um, and then, once again, the red line tires, and then how pretty that is overall. So we just finished doing all of the uh, the polishing and, and so on on the vehicle. So now um, our client will be able to enjoy it. He's going to take it to some shows and then we have to get some judging done on it too. So um, very, very rare car, uh, beautiful car. It's uh, quite a fun car, quite challenging to work on. But the end result, I think, speaks for itself. So uh, quite a rare vehicle, a 1967 Chevrolet Corvette Roadster. Uh, it's a 427 big block, 435 horsepower, uh, four-speed manual. So I thank you for watching. I'm John from LastChanceAutoRestore.com.